Hi everybody, it's Galactic Man Larry here again with another, with another Halo review and I think it's Halo, World of Halo or something, yeah here it says World of Halo uh, with a new format, a new scale I don't know what new scale is it, it is, but I think it's a 3.75 well, I'm almost sure <coughs> and today we have the Warthog which I just found sitting there in a shop and I was like, come to daddy and it says here additional figures sold separately separately and we have this great art artwork of the war thug with the master chief showing there in the little window and yeah we have some of the UNSC well, we have the UNSC logo there in the at the side. We have the same artwork we had in the back of the UNSC marine packaging. Well, we have the price there, some lot of information. It's used with permission of, I guess, Microsoft. We have a lot of green here with Halo and more Halo and. UNSC and no logo and War Thug avec Master Chief mit Meister mit Master Chief con Master Jefe Maestro Master Jefe Maestro what the fuck I mean yeah the packaging looks cool from the front and it's very straightforward and the sides or so it has no promo images from further figures or something and to open this it seems it's just like this like this and I guess that's it Ta -da -ta -da. Puff. so that's what you get inside of the box you can see the Warthog with weathering which is amazing you can see it straight there the like this metal scuffing there which is a great attention to detail you can see here we have first of all here we have the master chief chief i mean and he's there i can see already he's larger than the marines and i think it's like that in the game as well if I remember right, he was like a larger kind of a super soldier. I only played Halo 1, 2 and 3, so I don't know further details. Anyway, you can see here we have the four wheels. They don't look that weathered. And here we have the minigun, the gatling gun, the whatever it's called gun. And for protection, oh, well, this just came out already. The main body of the Warthog, they added these things for protection. Good that they do so, so it doesn't get smashed or something. It feels sturdy, yes, it feels nice. It has some, these things are rubbery. We'll get into that in a moment. We have the, 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 like the gas canisters or whatever. And to get the wheels, do we just, it seems it just glued in there. Yeah, it seems it's the way to do it. Or just like this so that I don't have to break the box maybe this will be useful to travel with the thing <coughs> how do I take the gatling gun out of the box? that's the next question and of course we have to cut some tape and there it is and it seems there's no instructions so you just have to i mean it's not like <laughs> a lot of things to assemble but yeah i think it would be good for some people to get the instructions i think i'll manage mm -hmm. 
so that's the all the packaging stuff what do we get inside of the box we get the warthog itself without wheels well with the wheels uh, separately the gatling gun the little gas canisters or so and we get my stashif let me take this guy out of this guy out of the tray what's in the name of this gun the model or whatever what's the name if you know it please leave it on the comments below also please check my channel subscribe if you like what you see in my channel leave a like on this video and watch other videos and leave a like on them as well and subscribe because more content is always on its way i don't strictly publish stuff every day all days all the the whole year you know but sometimes i have like this video uploading sprees like yeah i got a lot of stuff and i will open it <laughs> but it's not like super strict like every day is new content but sometimes it is like that so here we have the master chief it's the figure it's looking great actually i just wanted the master chief but uh, i found him alone just the figure at a shop that sells for like aftermarket price prices and it was just getting the figure was halfway what the whole set costed so i was like no i'm gonna pay i mean normally it should be like a quarter the price of this set but it was half the price only master chief and i was like no 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 i will get the whole worth of because yeah you can't compare the amount of plastic you get for just twice the price so inside of this little bag is the I guess these are like the bullets or cartridges or whatever they're called for the war thug let me focus there you get the little antenna you get these like gas canisters I don't know where I'll put them I guess they're going the back or something like that Ex exactly there where you they can shoot you in the back and get the whole thing to blow up in the air <laughs> you know what I mean and it seems it's quite straightforward before I put the wheels on let's take a look at this beast it has a UNSC logo very crisp there it's like a tampography or something I'm not very technical with the terms or I don't know the terms properly sorry I haven't installed that yet you have some console detail just like blue and red buttons blue for screens and red for whatever buttons you have the wheel which doesn't turn it seems i won't force it but it's it's a flexible plastic but it's fixed in position you have this lever it's just there you have the seats which look very gamer friendly <laughs> driver friendly as well and you have all this metal scuffing you know like it's this thing has been rolling and it looks good UNSC again this is the back I guess I guess I'm not sure this thing should be able to to be unable to get there but I guess you can put them here somehow uh, you can put only one here yeah that's one where's the next one <laughs> or do you get like three replacements or do they throw them to the enemies or i don't know where these other two are supposed to go maybe they're just like i would say they go here somehow but i'm yeah ah yes look that one had the two peck holes and it's the only one with two peck holes and these other ones go just like this so they can shoot to shoot you in the back from behind and boom <laughs> i mean it's not very 
ideally placed just like some gas out there in the open ready to get shot and we have the Gatling gun the, the mini gun or whatever this is called very iconic from Halo to have the other person just da -da 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 in the back of the Warthog it seems it's I thought it would have more movement it has this range of movement here and it turns and it seems to be just that and then you put it there oh god and it's really stiff okay so i think this is not meant for it's more meant like to to be in display like for for active play because it's really you have to or maybe with use it gets to turn easier but it's super tight which is good i prefer tight than loose and falling all over the place i mean this might have been thought more as a collectible i mean it looks good yeah more than as a toy and the wheels it seems you just have to snap them there uh, before we do that let's appreciate the detail here all the mechanic stuff they didn't they didn't just uh, i mean with this with the worth that you have to get at least the suspension here to be visible but they went all the way and added all the detail which i really appreciate you can see all the they didn't just go flat plastic and legally you know there's your legalese and stuff your license stuff and serial number or whatever but they did uh, all the detail in the the mechanism of the warthog here which i do appreciate and i think everybody else which is a huge fan or a somewhat fan of halo or even if you're not a fan of halo this is a nice vehicle and I won't say that it's good for G.I. Joe as well, but I guess it's good for G.I. Joe as well, you know, the original scale. Or the new ones, the retro, which are, if I'm right, the original scale as well. So for the wheels, you just have to snap them into place or pop them into place or whatever. Just place and push. There you are. And this little thing goes here, it seems. Yeah, it's it goes there. I don't know if it's supposed to be one side of, or the other, but I'll put it just like this. And for the machine gun, oh yeah, it goes here. I mean the, you know, the bullets and all of that. And there, and that looks great course you can add more weathering to this vehicle if you want but it comes with a good uh, start they didn't just give it all olive green and new and shiny so now let's go over the master shift figure which I guess it has the same articulation as the other figure I reviewed the other day, yesterday the the marine but I mean Master Chief is Master Chief he has a uh, all this like very generous slot here or whatever it's called where you can place a double peg joint here it's a dumbbell joint he has all the sculpt there to maneuver the head around and it's this is like a flexible hard rubber you put the head there well it, it was there i just took it out he can look up that much which is not that much but it's what he can do <laughs> he can look down that much which is a bit more he can look he can't look all the way around but it makes sense because with this armor you couldn't so he can organically look to the side and to the other side and has a little bit of tilt that could be better but it's what we get 
and it's it's okay i mean anyway you can go all, do up up and down and tilt and to the sides yeah the arms go all the way around they can go up that much the shoulders which is kind of similar this guy has a bit the i mean the L, the shoulder pad twists a bit allowing it to get a bit further upwards than the marine now the elbow can go like again almost 90 degrees or something like that but it's uh, it's okay could be better definitely and we have waists I mean the wrists can turn all the way around and go up and down and the other side as well up and down and all the way around now he has a diaphragm joint he can also has he also has like no <coughs> movement to the front which is a bit unfortunate he can lo uh, go just a little bit bit to the back he can tilt sideways a little bit he doesn't have any movement at the waist the sculpt seems to not allow it <coughs> the feet can go let's say 90 degrees to the front i mean the legs and they can or he can he can do almost the full splits he it goes inside you know it doesn't obstruct like with the other guy the marine and he also has this uh, thigh cut which is a great thing in this scale you don't get it with every figure of this scale which i'm glad they did it for these figures because i really like the design of the, the marine and master chief and i think i'll get more of these halo figures <coughs> when i'm back in germany anyway with the master chief you can't go all the way around but i mean he's armored he he has a bit of an ugly knee i mean it's yeah it's worse than with the marine or the marine wasn't as ugly as this guy in this part but it's not a deal breaker it looks a bit shitty yes especially when you do the kneeing kneeling position or whatever it's really like he just yeah it's like if he was a robot that would be acceptable but I think he ain't and um, the feet can go that much to the front which is very generous and it's good can go only that much to the back because of reasons and sculpt actually you can force it over the sculpt but now I smash the plastic a little bit of this little part so if you want to force it on top of that you can but it will probably damage your figure at least yeah it can go get back into position but yeah you don't want to force it over because you could really damage the plastic there and he has ankle pivot a decent one i mean it's great for this scale you don't get it all the time now the, the vintage collection figures some of them are getting it as well i would i hope they do it for every figure every new figure let's say but yeah and he can of course as you saw already hold his rifle machine gun or whatever which is also the, the very iconic halo machine gun which you get to see in the cover of the very first halo game actually <coughs> there you have master chief now for a little size comparison let's stand him there come on stand man <coughs> we have the unsc marine which is a little tiny fuck alongside the master chief yeah but i think it's supposed to be like that let's bring him out of the of his stand mm. 
you can see how much Master Chief towers above the little marine here. Yeah, but I mean, I guess Spartans are supposed to be genetically art altered or something that they can tower over normal humans. If I'm right and if I'm not, you can correct me in the comments respectfully, you know, constructive feedback. We are not here to attack each other, just to, to add value, you know. Now, <coughs> well, I'll get them into the Warthog and we'll continue. No, actually, I'll do it on camera. Let's see how easy it is to do that, if it's easy at all. In the picture, they show Master Chief driving this thing. So he should be able to, right? Let's see. Otherwise he will have to be the gunner. You know, I'll pause the video and continue in a sec. So, after fiddling with it for a while, I wasn't able to place Master Chief on the driving driver's seat, which was quite disappointing because you have, first of all, is the figure you get with the Warthog. Second, you can see him driving here while the other Spartan is there. Uh, using the gun, or manning the gun, and then I decided to just put the marine here, which is, he's not, he's too small to properly sit and reach the wheel, he's holding the wheel with both hands there, and if I get him to sit properly, he won't reach the wheel, and with Master Chief, I wasn't even able to get him to fit there because he's significantly larger than the marine so something in between should be great to be able to sit here and as you can see master ship manning the gun there is almost almost too large let's say it like this uh, for the gun you know but uh, yeah, I'm not as satisfied as I would like to be with the, that aspect, which is actually important. If you have a vehicle for these figures, they should be able to fit perfectly on the vehicle, and especially the figure <coughs> the vehicle comes with, which is this Master Chief. I will continue fiddling with it. Maybe I'll find the ideal way you can place Master Chief on this in the driver's position and if I find that I will post it in a picture of an or a little upcoming video or something like that so I just wanted to give you an update with the uh, fiddling and and all the effort I had to put into fitting Master Chief in the Warthog that's as far as I could fit him so far uh, yeah, um, as you can see, he doesn't go all the seat all the way down in the seat, but uh, he gets to grab the wheel and the lever there, and he's able to to even look cool while the UNSC Marine gets to man the turret. So it's possible. Now for size comparisons, yeah, because I was, it was, it's hard to find the pose. You have to put this figure, the Master Chief, 
in to be able to fit him there it's a tight fit it could be better definitely but uh, well, at least i haven't found a better way so until now and now for size comparisons i just wanted to show you the how it looks aside a cobra his tank because i have it here and why not and they are in a i mean maybe they're not the same scale but they're well it works you know and i think this very same his tank is the one we're gonna get re-released for the gi joe retro line and i'm not sure if the gi joes are the same the, these ones the the vintage ones the, the original things are in scale with the let me bring someone else cobra commander here let me see if these guys are in a similar scale Buff. let's compare with the unsc marine because i'm sure master chief will tower over any gi joe but maybe the unsc marine which i keep repeating like crazy you now yeah they are perfectly well perfectly well yes they are in scale maybe not perfectly perfectly but well actually yeah let's compare with this laser viper or whatever this viper is yeah i can buy this i mean as a scale it's fine it's good enough for me his peg holes are much larger than the ones in the warthog than the pegs on the warthog so it, that it won't stay standing it won't stand there let's see with cobra commander if he could man the gun Well, he can hold himself by grabbing the gun. He can grab both sides. So, this uh, Warthog is perfectly... Well, perfectly is a word, but... Could be used by a G.I. Joe figure. Let me take Master Chief out of the... So, that's the exact position I had to get him in. So actually you just play with the thigh cut and play a bit with the double jointed knees because the inside of the warthog maybe it's too dark. It's yeah, you have to really check that the feet get in a certain position so that you can you know get him in for me this is the only exact position that has worked so far and as you can see it's yeah it's a bit like uh, <laughs> tight it's the one that worked for me so far it's like one click in each part of the double jointed knee one click in the upper part one click in the lower part you have to angle the, the legs a bit actually you can yeah you have to play with it just don't force things you will have to force a little bit maybe maybe you're you found you find the exact thing i haven't yet and that's the solution but i did have to fiddle quite a bit so let's bring the his driver and see if yeah, he fits there easily, but he cannot reach the the wheel. Well, he can, actually. He's, he will just be apart from the seat. Da -da -da. 
So there you have him, he's grabbing the wheel and somewhat grabbing the lever. And there you can see him. So this thing is perfectly usable by G.I. Joe's. In case you were uh, you were having that question. So I think that's enough for this uh, review. It was a bit troublesome getting the most of all getting Master Chief to fit in there because he's larger. Because I think that's yeah I remember that being a thing like he the Spartans are like super soldiers and I don't I mean I don't I don't remember all of that det to detail but I remember like they were like generic genetically altered or something that they are taller and stronger and more resistant and all of that so he's of course much much larger than Cobra Commander but a UNSC Marine is a normal human so that's how things are so please leave a like subscribe to the channel and comment and all of that you know as, as, as I always say respecting each other and all of that I will see you in the next one ciao ciao ciao